So now we've got the nucleus set, we've adjusted our wind direction, we've made the cape a lot more interesting. Let's select the cape itself, go to the end cloth shape, let's scroll down and we can look in the dynamic properties tab. Let's just stop and restart the playback. Now the cape looks like it's stretching a bit too much. So we have this stretch resistance here. We could turn that up just so that it won't stretch much. We could edit the bend resistance so it doesn't bend as much. And as you see, as I turn that up, because we're using interactive playback, we can adjust these and see them in real time. So we'll drop that down. Again, that's, that bend resistance is just stopping it bending. So we maybe we set that to one, see what it has. That's still quite rigid. 0.5. We've got a little bit of motion in there. You know, and at this stage, it's just tweaking these to get the cape to look like you want it to look. Sometimes you just need to rewind and play it again. That's better. Now we've just got a little movement. Drop this down. And again, it's just tweaking these values. Set that to one. And then we've got a lot more movement on there. Maybe 1.5. So something like that. And we're starting to get a nice flow of the cape. Okay, obviously compression resistance is going to stop it sort of collapsing in on itself. So we can turn this up. And again, if you turn it up too much, it's just going to make the cape quite rigid. So again, let's just restart it just to test. So you can see there we're playing around with these values here. We're not concerned with anything else. We're just tweaking these. We're not getting bogged down in other sort of dynamic system attributes or anything just yet. We've got our nucleus, which has given us our wind uh, and our main forces. We could turn down the air density a little bit. Maybe just put, set that back to one. And then we've got our cloth shape and all we're editing is the dynamic properties. If we scroll down here, we can see there's a lot more we can play around with in here. We could edit the mass, so how heavy the cape is. If we drop that down, you can see it just completely goes wild because we've made the cape a lot lighter. So obviously the wind's going to affect it a lot more. So maybe drop that to five. We have other options here with the lift, the drag, how rigid it is we turn that up obviously it's just going to be back to our rigid board so we don't want it rigid we want it quite loose so for now I'm just going to leave you to tweak these values like I've shown you it is just it's quite simple just play around with these until you get a cape that you're happy with rewind interactive playback again and that is ba the basics of setting up end cloth now obviously there's a lot more we can look at in here you know we've got all these other options down here but like I say this is just an introduction we're just easing you, you into the systems gently what you've done up to now is you've just defined cloth applied some wind and turbulence to it and started to adjust how the cloth is actually going to flow and move around in space. So that's the cloth set up. What we'll do now is we'll break here and in the next video we'll start to uh, investigate adding and adjusting her hair.